let's look a little bit more into the, the libraries that we have available in Panther's rule engine. So as I was saying before, you really don't have any sort of restriction in the type of Python that you write other than the libraries available to you. And Panther ships um, support for all the standard libraries and then a couple of extras. So you have the ability to import Boto3, which if you've developed on AWS before, you're pretty familiar with that. It's for making API calls directly into an AWS account. So this could be loading data from S3, it could be sending messages to queues, it could be really anything. It could be stopping instances, uh, really whatever's available within the API. And then another one is Policy Universe, which is an open source project by Netflix. And it's really helpful for parsing out IAM policies and um, just doing logic related to determining access and other things. And then the request library is another one that we include, which is for making API calls. If you wanted to you know, hit like the virus total API or something like that, you can create a helper that does this and you can import requests. So in this example, I'm importing a library called sequence matcher. And this rule is really cool because it allows us to do fuzzy matching. So it's a, this is a default rule that comes with Panther and it's one that requires a little bit of configuration. And the way that it works is you would say, you know, if my domain is google.com, like let's say I'm Google and I wanna identify if an employee is getting fished. So what I would do is I'd collect all the DNS logs in my corporate environment. I would say, these are the lists of my domains that you know, I have related to my corporate environment like google.com or maybe google.co or other internal domains. And then if someone fishes them, if they do like a Google with a zero, for example, in uh, a malware site, since we have those DNS logs, we can actually catch the resolution and then we can use this rule to alert and say, hey, some laptop resolved a domain that's very similar to Google, but not quite. So this library allows us to do that type of uh, similarity matching. And we're importing this library, we're feeding it some, some arguments that we set in the top as, as uh, constants. And then we set an alert when it hits. And again, all of this stuff can be abstracted out into a helper if it was something that you were using across multiple rules. But if it's for one use, it's generally overkill to have it as a helper. And this is the similar mindset you would take when you're just writing code in general. 